Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to the series premiere of the Random Albums Marvel Race. This is the very first episode of the very first season of this brand new series. And yeah, I know I said in the series finale of the Countries of the World Marvel Race that I would not be doing Marvel-related content anymore. But, the, but here's the thing. I have been returning to my U.S. State Marvel Race series from back in the day a lot lately. And then after I came back to the, the U.S. State Marvel Race, uh, I was just thinking, um, like, why, why, don't I, why don't I go back to making this type of content again? Uh, where instead of doing the U.S. States or the countries of the world, I do a random smattering of albums. And speaking of which, here they are. All 50 albums that I have selected for the first season of this brand new series right in front of your eyes Half of these albums are electronic albums while the other half are non-electronic albums And I'm pretty sure that you can spot a few of those too And also for the sake of variety, I have also sprinkled in a couple of bad albums as well These three come to mind Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, place your bets. Who do you think will win? Here are your choices. Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill, Aphex Twins Selected Ambient Works Volume 2, Outer Curse Amber, Biosphere's Substrata, Boy Genius's The Record, BT's These Hopeful Machines, Chime's Etherborn, Daft Punk's Discovery, David Bowie's Black Star, David Guetta's Listen. Uh, De Dead Mouse's random album title, Ed Sheeran's Multiply, Flight Facilities Forever, Foo Fighters' Wasting Light, Infected Mushrooms' Army of Mushrooms, Jamie X Sexes in Color, Kanye West's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Ken Ishii's Jelly Tones, Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly, Kid Rock's Bad Reputation, uh, Craftworks Autobahn, Lana Del Rey's Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard, Linkin Park's Meteora, Mac Miller's Circles, Miles Davis's Bitches Brew, Milky Star, My Chemical Romance's The Black Parade, Natalia Lafourcade's De Torres Las Flores, NF's Hope, Orbital's Insides, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, Porter Robinson's Nurture, Prince's Purple Rain, Radiohead's Kid A, Rufus Dussault's Bloom, Skrillex's Quest for Fire, Square Pusher's Hard Normal Daddy, Stevie Wonder's Songs in the Key of Life, System of a Down's Toxicity, Taylor Swift's Folklore, uh, The Chemical Brothers' Dig Your Own Hole, The Future Sound of London's Life Forms, Tiesto's Kaleidoscope, Tim Hecker's Virgins, Tyler the Creator's Flower Boy, Vale Smith's Coruscate, Venetian Snare's Doll Doll Doll, Ween's The Mollusk, Weezer's Blue Album, and Yes's Close to the Edge. This is your roster. Again, who do you think will win this whole thing? Only one album out of these 50 can win this entire series. Place your predictions in the comments below. All right, as you can see here, we have all the 50 marbles uh, waiting to be released at the start. And much like the U.S. State Marble Race and the Countries of the World Marble Race, um, the uh, Marble Run that I'm going to be using is none other than Wisteria's Parkour Palace. And yeah, that also means I did not make this marble obstacle. It was, an, it was um, made by an Algodoo user named Wisteria. Credit goes to Wisteria. They did an amazing job with this as always. And yeah, um, for those of you who have watched these two Marble Race series, you know the drill. But for those of you who are new to, to how my Marble Races work, there are 10 rounds in Wisteria's Parkour Palace. The marbles that make it to this little ramp thing, um, in which I like to call the finish, will be safe from elimination, while the other marbles that do not make it to the finish will be at risk of elimination. But yeah, um, let's place your 50 albums your your final 50 at the start and uh yeah um we are now going to get started with this right now um this is the very first season uh and the first episode of the uh random albums marble race 
Again, place your bets in the comments below. Who do you think is going to be safe and who is not going to be safe? It all starts now in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Good luck to all of you. I see that um, a, a lot of you have already made it to the next stage. I'm pretty sure all of you are going to make it to the next stage. This is pretty damn easy. It looks like the only two mar the only two albums left in this stage are Circles and Ocean Boulevard. Um, all right, uh, uh, Lana Del Rey makes it, and the last um, album to make it is Circles. Um, by the way, the only posthumous album I've included um, on um, this series as of now, as far as I'm concerned. Um, by the way, R.I.P. Mac Miller. Um, Okay, um, now we're moving on to the Oval Gear stage. Here we go. And the first um, five albums to make it are Black Star, Chorus Gate, Toxicity, Songs of the Key of Life, and The Mollusk. All right, uh, Virgins was stuck, but a couple of marbles pushed it down. Um, Insides made it. Close to the Edge is stuck. Um, who's going to push? Uh, all right, I think it was In Color that pushed uh, Close to the Edge. Good job. Um, and it looks like, uh, Wasting Light, uh, Dig Your Own Hole, and Bitches Brew make, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah, Bitches Brew did not make it. Um, Circles made it, Blue made it, uh, Random Album Title made it, my eighth favorite album of all time. <laughs> Alright, it looks like B Brew, because I don't want another Community Guideline Strike, uh, Tip of a Butterfly, and Quest for Fire, the only three albums left here. Um, alright, B Brew made it. Um, and, uh, now all that's left is to pimp a butterfly in quest for fire. And, uh, all right, let's see who's going to be the penultimate album to make it. And it is, um, I think it was quest for fire. Yeah. Quest for fire made it, uh, second to last. And it looks like, uh, T Pab is the only album left in the stage. Um, one of the best hip hop albums ever. Probably my favorite hip-hop album of all time. There, there's a reason why uh, T-Pap is so well acclaimed even to this day. It, 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 it is a masterpiece, like uh, literally a masterpiece, but oh my, oh my god. Uh, it is taking um, T-Pap forever. All right, T-Pap made it, and now we're moving on to the invisible stage. Invisible stage because these gears are invisible. Go. All right. We, all right, a lot of marbles have made it. A lot of albums have made it, including Audubon, Nurture, and Insights. I see all of yous. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, um, we got a handful of um, albums left. Sorry if I keep pausing. I just wanted to see uh, which albums are left standing here. Uh, all right, it looks like um, Jelly Tones and Doll, Doll, Doll have made it to the next stage. And so has my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and the only album that's left is Black Star, another one of my favorite albums. Uh, yeah, and yeah, R.I.P. David Bowie, by the way, too. Um, yeah, Black Star has made it, and now we're moving on to the Dream versus Technoblade fight. For the, for the longest time, I've called this the Dream fight because at the time, I did not know uh, what what YouTuber this is supposed to be, but um, it's Technoblade, and yeah, R.I.P. to Technoblade as well. Um, now, as for all of you, good luck. All right. Um, looks like, um, it looks like, uh, a lot of you have made it. Um, okay. Uh, let's see who else made it. And it's the mollusk and bloom and the record. Um, and it looks like, uh, toxicity is the second to last album to make it. And that means the only album left in this stage is hope by NF. Um, and that album has made it too. All right, and now moving on to this stage, this complex stage. That's probably what I called it. I, I, I fucking don't remember. Anyways, go. Um, all right, uh, a lot of albums have made it, including Biosphere, Substrata, and In Color, and SAW2, and um, is that Army of Yeah Army of Mushrooms, and Milky Star and uh flower boy and um the record once again and listen oh i hate that album but again i included it anyway because of variety 
And yeah, it looks like Nurture by Porter Robinson is the last album to make it to the next stage. And now we're moving on to the pie stage. And I call this the pie stage because like the first circle is a pie chart. Um, anyways, go. All right. And uh, yeah, once again, a lot of you have made it, including Etherborn, my favorite album of 2023 so far. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, Rat has made it, random album title. And it looks like the only album that's left is uh, Dark Side of the Moon. I, I, iconic album for sure and good reason. And, and, for, and for good reason, sorry. Um, yeah, Dark Side of the Moon has made it. And now time for the anime stage. Oh, whoa! Why, why did I just do that? <laughs> but yeah, anime stage because of the, the, the owo and the little cat face and the cat ears thing. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, th this is one of the hardest stages. This is where some of you guys are going to find some trouble here. Anyways, go. Uh, all right, attempts are dwindling down already, uh, mainly because I set this to 5x speed. That's probably the speed I'm going to put this at for now on for these Marvel-related series. And okay, and as expected, um, the, as expected, some albums have already been up for elimination because the stage is so hard when there's a lot of you. So yeah, the albums up for elimination are Army of Mushrooms, To Pimp a Butterfly, Hope, and Kid A. Sorry to the four of you, but you are all up for elimination. I'm, I'm, I especially feel bad for T-Pab and Kid A. They do not deserve to be up for elimination, but this is the competition. But for the rest of you, um, the 46th of you that have made it to the next stage, you're going to go through this stage. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to make it because there's only 225 attempts, but we shall see. Anyways, good luck to the rest of you. Let's do Mix It First, and it's Insights, followed by Songs of the Key of Life, Forever, Star, These Hopeful Machines, Audubon, Life Forms, and, and a bunch of others. Um, all right, attempts have already dwindled down to less than 20. And now, um, attempts have now been run out. Um, all right. And it looks like the last album to make it is, uh, Folklore. Folklore is the last album to make it. And yeah, that means, unfortunately, um, these six albums are up for elimination. Um, those albums are a random album title. No! Uh, <laughs> in color, circles, um, uh, dig your own hole, be brew. Uh, and Purple Rain. Sorry to all of you, but you are all up for elimination. All are phenomenal albums. All are phenomenal, and they're up for elimination. That is crazy. All right, um, and now for the rest of you, you are now going to be moving on to arguably the hardest stage in the entire Parkour Palace, the Red Zone. I call this the Red Zone because uh, some of the objects are red, while the majority of the well, well, well the majority of the objects are black, but that doesn't really matter. Um, th this is the Red Zone. Anyways, go. And the first two albums to make it are Jagged Little Pill and Chorus Gate, followed by Autobahn and a few others. L L Listen's making it far. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> because Listen is one of the worst albums ever. Um, oh my god, I just realized I think Kaleidoscope's not up for elimination yet. Is Kaleidoscope still here? I hope Kaleidoscope's up for elimination. Kaleidoscope's another terrible album, but I'm, but, I mean, that's coming from me, the, the person who included, um, those albums anyway. Uh, but anyways, uh, these albums are unfortunately up for elimination. Well, mostly, <laughs> yeah, these albums are up for elimination, and those albums are The Blue Album, Hard Normal Daddy, Star, Discovery, Folklore, Kaleidoscope, thank God, uh, <laughs> These Hopeful Machines, uh, Close to the Edge, Multiply, and Ocean Boulevard. Uh, sorry to all of you, but you are all up for elimination. And now we're going to bring this down to normal speed, 1x, because we are now at the 10th and final stage of the Parkour Palace, which is the... Um, modified gear stage because it's probably the only stage that i modified back when i first tried the tried out the parkour palace um the gears weren't working so i fixed it and yeah the the, the gears work and yeah for the rest of you the albums that make it here are safe from elimination and are making it into the final 
45, um, and I'll explain that uh, later. And yeah, and the marbles and the albums that don't make it to the finish will be up for elimination. The very best of luck to all of you, and go! Let's go! All right, let's see who makes it, and it looks like um, it looks like uh, uh, the Black Parade um, has made it in. They are safe for another episode. Huge win for all emo fans out there. <laughs> Um, okay, and it looks like Jack Little Pill and Doll 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 have made it. Huge win for both um, uh, Alanis fans and Breakcore fans. Uh, and yeah, these are the last few marbles that are going to be up for elimination. And those albums are Substrata, Etherborn, uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Forever, Insides, Amber, The Mollusk. Bad Reputation, Songs of Key of Life, Jelly Tones, Bloom, Virgins, Listen, and Wasting Light. So sorry to all of you, but you are all up for elimination. And meanwhile, these very few um, handful of albums are going to be safe for another episode. They're going to be making it into the final 45. And those albums are The Black Parade, The Record, De Torres Las Flores, Nurture, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Toxicity, Autobahn, Lifeforms, Flower Boy, Chorus Gate, Quest for Fire, SAW2, Selected Abbey Works Volume 2, um, Black Star, Meteora, Doll Doll Doll, and Jagged Little Pill. Congratulations to all of you. You are all safe for another episode. And yeah, these albums are, are up for elimination, and so are these guys, these guys and uh, the, these four albums as well. So viewers, voters, subscribers, and everyone else out there, vote for which album should be saved from elimination by going to the trough hole link in the description and pinned comment. Voting will end next week on Monday, June 5th, 2023 at 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Since this is no longer a vote for who you want to be eliminated, but rather a vote for who you want to save, the five albums with the lowest amount of votes will be eliminated from the competition. I repeat, the five albums with the least amount of votes will be leaving us. So if you want your favorites to stay in, make sure you go vote. Because at the end of the day, it's all about finding the best. The perfect album to win the in, in like the like the first season. The perfect album to win the first season. But yeah, other than that, start voting and stay tuned. Mm -hmm.